I've released 73 videos this year. That's far less than years in the past. But one thing I didn't do this year was I didn't release a single dessert recipe. One of my favorite desserts growing up was my mom's no-bake cheesecake. So today, for the final video of 2023, I decided to make a plant-based cheesecake. First, you need some vegan cream cheese. And luckily, Monica and I just did a vegan cream cheese taste test and ranked all of the vegan cream cheeses I could find. But let's actually start with our graham cracker crust. I'm gonna be using Nabisco grams. In a food processor, I'm gonna toss in around two envelopes, saving two or three graham crackers, and then pulse. Uh, we don't want them too crumbly, just kind of bigger crumble. So just pulse a few times. Now, one stick of vegan butter, I'm gonna melt that in a microwave for only about 30 seconds. I want it to be melted, but soft. So if there's still some chunks, that's okay. Now toss the butter into the food processor and pulse a few times until you see the entire kind of mixture darken up. Now we need a nine inch springform pan and a nine inch circle of parchment paper. Now to do that, you're just gonna take a piece of parchment paper, fold in half, fold in half a second time, and then fold in corners to make two triangles. Then you can place it at the center of the bottom of the ring, cut into a circle, and then unfold, and you have your circle parchment paper. Now toss the buttery graham crackers into the parchment paper. I'm gonna spread out evenly with like a spatula, and then we're gonna press. I'm just gonna use the, the parchment from the butter to kind of press down pretty firm, and then I'm just grab something flat. I'm just using my water bottle to kind of press it down and make sure that it's pressed really, really firm, as firm as you can get it. I'm gonna toss this into the freezer and allow it to rest and firm up while we make our cheesecake filling, which is also plenty of time for today's sponsor. I know a lot of you have noticed how much weight I've lost, around a hundred pounds. And that's thanks to today's sponsor, Noom. Noom Weight is a proven long-term solution to weight management that only takes a few minutes a day. When people ask me how I lost weight, I always start by saying Noom but I tell everyone that it was lots of little changes over time. It wasn't just one specific thing or one trick. It was changing my mindset about my health, the way I eat, and how much I move. Since starting Noom, I have never felt better. Noom promotes sustainable results using gold standard psychological methodologies. It is a different approach to weight management with support of individual and group coaches, which you can choose if and how that works for you, and lessons or being uplifted by other community members. With Noom, you will always find ways to feel supported with the ups and downs of your health journey. And as you can tell based on today's video, all foods are welcome on Noom. So gang, it's almost a new year, which deserves a new you. Click the link in the description below to take your free Noom evaluation and redeem your free 14-day trial. It's quick, easy, and will help you create a custom plan. Noom, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for changing my life. And we're back, so let's make our cake. But first, I forgot to grab powdered sugar, so let's make some. I'm gonna use some raw cane sugar. It's what I have. This stuff is brown, but it's not brown sugar. This is just not processed. It's raw cane sugar. And I feel like I'm using every appliance I have for this video, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna toss one cup of the cane sugar into a high-powered blender along with two teaspoons of cornstarch and blend. It's gonna powder up pretty quickly and also make a mess. Now I'm just gonna set that aside, pull out a third appliance, which is our stand mixer. Now you can beat this by hand but personally, with how much we're gonna be mixing here, I like to use a stand mixer. We're gonna start off with one 15 ounce can of coconut cream, one tablespoon of coconut oil. I know this is a lot of coconut stuff, but it's the thing that really sets this up and gives it its texture. Now, along with that, we're gonna add one cup of the powdered sugar and start to whip. It should mix together really nicely and kind of get a little airy. Not much, cause this stuff's heavy. Now, while it's whipping, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of vegan yogurt, one teaspoon of citric acid. You could swap that out for about a tablespoon of lemon juice, but I don't like the extra liquid. One tablespoon vanilla extract. And finally, to kind of thicken this up a little bit, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Now, you don't have to use that. Again, I just like it for the texture. Now, I'm gonna slowly start measuring out two cups of the top rated vegan cream cheese, which is the plain Trader Joe's and Oatly cream cheeses. Now, I'm just gonna add a little at a time, tossing little chunks into the mixer, allowing it to whisk up, so that way there's no like chunks in the end. We want this to be pretty smooth and silky. Now, once you have everything added, go ahead and let it whisk until you see no more chunks. Like I said, very, very smooth. Mine only took a few moments after. And then voila, you have a really nice cheesecake mixture. Now we just need our graham cracker crust from the freezer, and then we're just gonna pour our cheesecake in, making sure it completely covers all of the graham crackers. Now I'm gonna toss in those two saved graham crackers into like a small bowl, crush them up, and then just coat those around the topping. That's the topping that we always had for our cheesecake. It wasn't anything fancy, no raspberries or strawberries, anything like that, just lots of graham crackers. We're gonna toss this back in the freezer for a few hours, and then you're gonna have an incredible cheesecake, and we'll see what Monica has to say. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Cheesecake. Yeah, I this mean. This is great. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really like it. It's really spot on mm -hmm. to my mom's old no-bake cheesecake, which is exactly what I was going for. Tastes just like cheesecake. It's a very smooth cut. Graham crackers are great. Yeah. It's fabulous. Yeah. I'm gonna do a little less citric acid. You taste the sourness? Like, is it yes. too sour or is it good? Like, mm. what do you think? Oh, it's delicious, but I do taste that. That was my one thing I was thinking. I was like, well, it's a little more sour than what I'm used to, but it didn't really bother me that much. No. So I yeah, mean, a little less citric acid wouldn't be bad. Maybe a touch less. Mm -hmm. Other than that, this is awesome. I wouldn't know. I mean, mm, neither. I don't think anybody would know. I would have no idea. Yeah, I don't think anybody would know this wasn't like, Actual. like a cheesecake. Mm -hmm. It is missing like that fluffy, like the baked cheesecake consistency. This is more of that, exactly like what I was saying. No bake, it's cheese, it has like a nice firmness to it. It's a dense cheesecake. Yeah, it's very dense. It's not super dense, but it's a pretty dense cheesecake compared to like when you think about biting into kind of like that lighter cloud, mm -hmm. like melt in your mouth fluffy. cheesecake. Yeah. I mean. No fluffiness, but it's still amazing. But yeah. this is fine. This I love really it. Good. For a no-bake cheesecake, I don't think anybody would know. I'm gonna give it nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Boom. Cheesecake. Thanks for being around this year. I can't wait to do a lot of new stuff next year. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I tried mm. to be funny. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> That's great. That was really good. Mm -hmm. 